Tu 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 Forex baby Yeah I always wondered if you could do Forex Apply Stan Weinstein stage analysis to Forex Doesn't really cover it in the book But uh, if it's based off uh, supply and demand A few months back or months back I was trying to make it fit Check out, uh, I have a series of uh, my uh, applying uh, Stan Weinstein to Forex. Did a few, and today I'm going to do another one. New Zealand GPY, guys. That's the Kiwi versus the Yen. I'm going to use all my practice, everything I know, and apply it right now. Monthly defined resistance. Monthly defined Ooh, are we below? Possibly, we could be in the progress of being below. Check it out, guys. Even here, another target, another pattern. Patterns within patterns, giving targets. Arrow, do 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 do. Patterns, giving targets, make a bigger patterns, hitting some resistance from some support. And after that, the whole the whole shebang morphs, and then you get these crazy patterns, which could run for a while on way to target, but give you some great risk to reward ratios. So if I'd be doing this my classic chart trading framework way, I'd have this pattern here. I would have liked more tests here. But uh, we'll see. The month isn't closed yet. This could be just a wick, right? Price action could go back in, close above 73.48, 73.50. That's the breakdown line. But if we close below that, like here, this is a measured move all the way down here to 63, 64. Back to previous uh, wall, previous resistance, now turn support right here. Uh, could have some interference maybe along the way, around 68 level here also. That's an important uh, resistance that now is going to become support. So when you see stuff like that, it's that thing I call um, target considerations. When I have target that run through important uh, support like that, it makes me think maybe I got greedy. Maybe I took a bigger pattern when I should be taking a smaller pattern closer to the breakout line as my target, guys. And then have a target that gets me closer. Always cheat in your favor. If you're not sure, you want to bail before you want to hit that target. Before getting uh, resisted because of the support. Because you weren't able to fade through the support all the way to your target. Then choose the closer targets of the closer pattern to the breakdown line. Maybe it's just here like that. So we just have to wait and see. Uh, this is the most greedy target. And this would be the least greedy target adjusted to that important uh, wall, previous resistance now turn support. But the important thing is to make sure that you have the trend in your favor, 12 month moving average going downwards, that you have a, a close below an important support line. If you have those, then you know that the price action will have a tendency to go down. And if it pulls back, that resistance now, that support has now become resistance. It's going to help you bounce down and reach your target. Pretty cool. So for the monthly, this is going down. All right, let's zoom over to the weekly. Let's apply Forex. I'm comparing it to the US dollar index. Let's remove all drawing tools. What does this look like? Stage four, stage two, stage three, and now stage four. Choppy stage three. You would have not played anything because why? You're not, you didn't close below the Ichimoku cloud. So all these false breakouts, false breakdowns, you would have avoided them. See how it bounced back up. 30 more image going downwards. And right about here, Where's my arrow? Underperforming the US dollar index. 
and you had a nice bounce right off here, the 30 week average. But the ideal here's my weekly defined breakdown line. Choppy, choppy. Very choppy. If you would have bought, if you would have entered here, then got to be careful of that sell stop, right? Stan Weinstein sell stop is always above the breakdown pattern. If you're doing the investor's way, make sure you're above the 30 week average and the trader's way, even safer if it's close like that. So if you're not, if you want to enter here, short here, your sell stops would have been right here to protect yourself. And as the price action goes back up, even if it's within the pattern, then goes back down, then you move your sell stops here and here, in trader's way, investor's way, pull down, break down, continuation breakdown, pull up, going back down, sell stop here, sell stop here, and you do that. Never buy a stock when the uh, Mansfield is going upwards. So we're going to use that. Let's say it's going upwards here. You're not, you're not going to short it. You wait till the Mansfield see that V, that A inverted V going back down. Then you know that the correction is complete. The pullback is complete, and uh, it's not a reversal. It was just a simple pullback, and then you're going all the way back down. The volume, guys, the volume is crazy. I'm trying to wrap my head around how volume impacts. Uh, this is Oanda's uh, retail volume. For sure, this is not this is not a good sign when you have these big red candles giving a, a prelude to maybe the uh, incoming months actions. But there's no clear sign that I saw that uh, twice the average of the previous four weeks is a confirmed breakout. See here, just as I say that this crazy spike here, and that coincides pretty much with a a break above a horizontal breakout line. I uh, could not quite play it yet because we have overhead resistance. We have other checks that we're, we're that we like to confirm. I think the 30 week average is you were just under underperforming the uh, U.S. dollar index. But uh, guys, uh, see, there's sometimes this shows up, but uh, I haven't seen um, consist consistency with the uh, volume candles and the ensuing price action. So kind of a stage analysis on Forex, kind of a different beast. But the rest of the framework, you can use everything, uh, horizontal breakdown lines, um, moving your sell stops along the way on pullbacks, protecting yourself, making sure that's a pullback and not a correction, using trend lines to for your exits, additional exits instead. So if ever you have a valid trend on one, two, three, four, on the fifth point, we would exit and your sell stop. So everything else in the framework works pretty good. Um, forest to trees kind of doesn't apply. That's comparing to the index, to the sector, the industry. I'm kind of comparing it to the US dollar index, which is a basket with it has the Euro, Great British Pound, Australia, I think New Zealand, Yen, they're all in there. I think the Looney also is in there. Uh, Multi-time frame analysis, we could do it. I, I started on the monthly apply my chart trading framework. So you could do a lot of things to give you a higher probability of um, having a successful trade, writing um, a run, a stage as long as possible and exiting close to the end. It's all possible. You just got to gotta respect the framework and trust it, guys. So I'm going to keep uh, looking, getting more observations, see how that uh, volume uh, interacts with the uh, stands uh, breakouts and breakdowns off stage twos and stage fours guys that's it new zealand uh, yen going down all right ciao guys